Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Always Compete Seahawks podcast. I am Mike. That is Sam. Didn't mess it up that time. Uh, very proud of myself. But in today's episode, we are going to be previewing the last preseason game. The last game that we get to witness the Seahawks getting the shit kicked out of them before the Cape Crusader, Superman, whatever you want to call him, whatever superhero analogy you want to give him. Russell Wilson comes in to save the day. And then so then we start whooping teams ass by, you know, 27 I points. I get like Ant-Man vibes from Russ. That's low-key disrespectful, man. <laughs> low-key so disrespectful. That's low-key so disrespectful. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. anyway and DK's the that, Hulk. Everybody knows that. I mean, we, anyway. Yeah. I mean, come on. Is that a new video idea? I don't know, man. I don't know. Stay tuned. Anyway. How good would the Seahawks Avengers be? I think Thanos is, next. Thanos is Pete Carroll at the one-yard line. Just dog, 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 right? You know, real quick before we get, get into it, you know, like, on Undisputed, like, yeah. like, 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 like uh, Skip, Skip Bayless will tweet, like, does, does Space Jam being such an awful movie damage LeBron's legacy <laughs> coming up next? Like, they have nothing to talk about. It's like, it's like, does the Seahawks not being a good Avengers affect their Super Bowl hopes coming up next on Undisputed? <laughs> it just, it's so lame. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is so funny. But anyway, <laughs> talking about for a second, this last preseason game, the third preseason game of the year, which is weird. I believe this is the first year ever. There's only three preseason games per team. But this is the last preseason game. And we're just kind of got to break down what we got to see in this preseason game. Who needs to have a big game to make the roster? Um, so I, I guess I'll go first here. Uh, what I really want to see is I want to see the DB step up. The DBs in the preseason, there's no other way to put it. They've been ass, straight up, low-key. Yeah, just straight up garbage. I mean, like, just, no just, good. The man, they simply cannot play the game of football. Just straight it, up. I mean, uh, no, I'm know, kidding, obviously. Bonafide scrubs, they can't play. You know, they cannot I, play the game of football. I, I know what we're doing here, but I can't remember what he said next, so I'm just going to – He gonna, doesn't have a post move in his – Yeah. He doesn't have a consistent post move he can he's go at, to. He's athletic, but he can't really move around too well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like, how does that make sense? It's like, I don't know. I, Stephen he's A's too just, big, yeah. yet he doesn't, he doesn't use his size. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he can score, but he's not really elite around the hoop. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry. Yeah. attention. But Elite uh, the, <laughs> uh, the yeah. DBs, I just want to see them play well. Honest to yeah, God, please. Like, um, I just want to see like a pass breakup. You know, the chart, I, need. I, I need. I, please, sir, can I have some defense? Is what I'm looking for right now. Um, <laughs> the Chargers are playing. They're not playing Justin Herbert. They're playing Stick and Chase Daniel. And being that I'm a Bears fan, also I understand that Chase Daniels is absolute garbage. So if Chase Daniels starts dotting us up, I say just fire Ken Norton before the season starts. Just if Chase Daniels completes more than like five passes, I say we promote Deshaun Shed to uh, defensive coordinator full yes. time. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, if Chase I mean, Daniels completes more than like five passes, just cut him. Just cut. <laughs> if Chase Daniels completes a pass, <laughs> fire like, Ken Norton on the spot and cuts the field <laughs> on the sideline. He's walking over. He's like, it's like, it's like an, it's, it's like a manager taking a baseball away from like a, a yeah. pitcher. He's like, he's like, give me the whistle. It's like a screen pass. Pete Carroll comes over with scissors, just cuts the defensive board, slaps, <laughs> slaps him on the ass. <laughs> and they just never see Ken Norton ever again. <laughs> like just rips it in half right from his face. Just like out of nowhere, just like, <laughs> and Ken Norton's just Dude, like. Even better. Even better. Grabs it, gives it to Shane Waldron. He's like, you're calling the whole game now. <laughs> You're calling the whole thing now. And Ken Norton just like yeah, just right. walks away. It just does him walking. Do you remember when Vernon Davis got kicked off uh, off, off of the 49ers mid game? Like Singletary was just, uh, uh, Mike Singletary, who was the coach at the time, was just like, I'm sick of this. Yeah. Get, get in the locker room. <laughs> and he just cut to him like third, mid third quarter, just by himself, just like <laughs> walking through the locker room. That's kind of just going to cut to Ken Norton. Just like, Okay. He's just like slowly walking away. You know, the title of this video is preseason finale breakdown. It's just it should just be the roast of Ken Norton Jr. <laughs> the roasting of Ken Norton Jr. Oh my listen, god. Listen. I say that if we give up any points, 
we should just fire the whole coaching staff. Jody Allen needs to go full on, like even if it's the offense, even right. even if like fire, fire the offensive coaches too. If we give up points, fire the offensive coaches. Yeah, they should have been on the field longer to prevent that. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Not Shane Walker though. That's my we base. should we should cut Russell Wilson because Russell Wilson clearly didn't motivate the guys enough in right. practice. Yeah. To yeah. you know get, get him going. You know yeah. Chris Carson wasn't chugging his legs hard enough. Tyler to wait Lockett. To Tyler Lockett's poetry wasn't good enough to motivate the team. <laughs> what uh, D, DK that one incomplete pass to DK Metcalf stop the clock. Right. Gave him too much time. It gave him too much time. Uh, yeah, but listen, all joking aside, the Seahawks, they need to have a good game. Yeah. One good game because morale, I mean, I want to say it's down, but like for those guys that have been in that freaking game, man, I mean, they they get slapped on. And the starters are just like cracking jokes on the sideline. Yeah. Just yeah. having a good time. And they're just like slowly. I remember, getting dude, they were like interviewing. Cooked. They were interviewing Russ Wilson and like they had like the split screen, Russ on this side and then like the game. And Russ is yeah. like, yeah, I love our chances this year. Me about the TV just getting mossed. <laughs> 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 yeah, just like <laughs> one handed. Russ was just yeah. like, I really like the TV this year. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro. Um, Russ is just like, yo, know, dude, you know what? This is why I wanted to go to Chicago. <laughs> Off topic. You know what I was thinking of? What if, like, they were interviewing a player, like, on the sidelines, and then, like, some crazy shit happened, and he was like, I got to go. It just took the headphones off. <laughs> like, like, it's like the last play of the game. Hail Mary that goes, like, 78 yards. He's just yeah. like, oh, shit, bro, I got to go. Hold up. <laughs> he um, breaks him. Damn it! And he just walks away. Just <laughs> Oh, my God. Like, realistically. Because that's so not Russell Wilson. Just to, yeah. like, break something over his knee and just be like, God damn it, and just walk <laughs> away. Like, that's so not Russell Wilson at all. But, but realistically. I'm waiting for the day that he's broken enough. Yeah. Just that, that last Aaron Donald sack. is just one day he's going to crack from an Aaron Donald sack. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hit 18 times. He just he just punches Aaron Donald. It was, like, so shocking. <laughs> Just, just like, like, have you ever seen SpongeBob where 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 the flounder is just beating on SpongeBob and he's not affected? I just imagine Russell Wilson just punching Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's just like, okay, uh, just like, boom, 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 boom. just like really letting him have it. And Aaron Donald's just like, and DK in the back like crying. <laughs> it's just like uh, it's the end of an era. <laughs> yeah. It's the end of an era. Anyway, realistic. We got really off topic. Defense need to play better. <laughs> Defense um, needs to play better. We just need to have a good game. The offense, please put up points. Please. Please. Josh, give the listen, listen. Feed, force feed the ball to Josh Johnson, and you'll be fine. You'll be yeah. fine. 30 carries in a per quarter. Minimum. Minimum. Let him carries. let him have 120 at the end of the game. The thing He's is be gassed, but that's why they have oxygen. Realistically, the guys like Josh Johnson, Kay Johnson, uh, Connor Weddington. All the Johnsons. Is there any other Johnsons on the team? Calvin Johnson, sure, bring him out of retirement. Pause. Pause. Nice big Johnsons on that squad. Yeah. Al Woods. <laughs> big, big Al on the Johnsons. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. Anyway. All right, listen. Force feed the ball to anyone on the earth with the last name Johnson. Calvin Johnson? Yes. Let him yeah. have it. Chris Johnson, 2,000-yard rusher. CJ Andre, Andre Johnson? Andre Johnson? Sure. Let him have it. Lane Johnson from the Eagles? Let him have the ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, every let everybody – I mean, is there any other Johnsons that I'm missing? Carry on Johnson? He just got cut. Sign him. Sign him. Let him go. Ball. Yeah, Josh, give him the ball. No, don't even sign carry on Johnson. You have two Johnsons that you need to give the ball. K. Johnson and Josh Johnson. Get those guys the ball. 100%. Well, I mean – well, each can 120. It's that simple. Just chew time. If, on the clock. Yeah. On the I, clock. I need 40 minutes of possession time. In <laughs> I need 50 minutes of possession time. The most dominant shit a team of mine has ever done is we held the ball <laughs> for the whole first quarter and half of the and half of the sec, and half of the second Jesus quarter. Christ. We right? had the ball. It was 10 minute quarters. We had the ball for 15 of the 20 minutes in the first half. Oh my god! The other team like had like a third, like three. That and defense out. is gassed. They're oh, 100%. Tired. Yeah, hundred percent. They were gassed. Yeah, so we were getting like it was like three yards, three yards, four yards, three yards, three yards. <laughs> like we had like no like first down plays. Three yards, three yards, four yards. It was crazy. Um, 
Yeah. So I need to see. I just need that smash mouth, smash, smash mouth football back from Seattle, yeah. honestly. I need Josh I mean, Johnson to just reincarnate himself as Marshawn Lynch and just – Reincarnate. He is Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, like unlock that potential. I mean, he's 34. Marshawn is – Marshawn is 24. You know, if you he add to unlock that Thomas Rawls peak potential. Oh my God. Thomas Rawls in the wild card game against the Lions. No, Thomas Rawls versus the 49ers when he had like oh, 200 I yards rushing. That. I remember that, that. That's an all time great Seahawks fan moment because if you're not a real Seahawks fan, if you don't remember that game, where Thomas Rawls had like 230 yards rushing. Like, just so what? random. Just so random. He just went fucking insane that game for no reason. Yeah, like, it's like, okay, okay, Thomas, all right, you can relax now. It's not, it's not that serious. You can, I was even telling him to get down. I was like, bro, you don't need that many rushing yards. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, Pete Carroll was like, Thomas, listen, just got a call from the league office. We're gonna need you to dial it. Down. Goodell's like, bro, you can't do that. Get, get him out of the game right now. <laughs> get, get, oh my god, get him out, get him out. <laughs> like, why? Get Roger him Goodell, out of the game. Roger Goodell skydives from the press box. <laughs> Why? Like, like he's got like one of those like like wingsuits, <laughs> just soaring in. He like grabs Thomas Rawls by the back of the jersey and picks back up and just, <laughs> just horse takes color. off. Horse colors that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's late. We're getting a lot of topic, but it's been a long night. It's been a long uh, night. We've recorded like five videos in the last hour. We're five like, videos. Go back to the most recent videos. Yeah, and look at my shirt. And my shirt too. Yeah, I mean, our like we're in the same position. We have not moved from this seat for like an hour. Like it's been. Yeah, my butt is firmly, firmly imprinted on this seat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if I, I don't know if this seat will ever recover. I might, I might sleep here tonight. Honestly, I don't, I don't know yeah. if I'll be able to get. We out. don't move from these chairs, by the way. No, we don't move. No, um, that's how dedicated we are to bringing you guys daily Seahawks content. Boom. Amazing. Seahawks content. I sacrificed my social life. I don't have a girlfriend because of this channel. And that's the only reason. That is the only reason. The only reason. The only reason. Maybe not because you're a Chicago Bears Stop, fan. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, like, you're a sim. Okay. No, that's oh, fine. no, being a Bears fan is worse. Okay. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. All right, whatever. <laughs> you guys like, enjoyed. sure, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, actually pissed off now. All right, guys, so we're done here. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.